Welcome to the Sparling YouTube channel. This is one of several video demonstrations to configure Sparling's Tiger Mag EP magnetic flow meter. Hi, this is Chris with Sparling Instruments and today we will walk you through the program specifically to set outputs. This parameter allows you to observe and change the way the meter puts out an output. Take your magnetic screwdriver or magnetic probe and put it over the no side for approximately 5 seconds. The meter will respond show meter data. Hit no to enter the password. The password is 0001. And hit yes, the meter will respond rescale rate. Hit no, meter will respond rescale total. Hit no again, and the meter will respond set output. You will hit yes, and the meter will dictate how it outputs. The first is 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 20 milliamp. Standard for most meters is 4 to 20 milliamp. You can hit no to change the indication. The next is the totalizer bandwidth time. Standard is 25 milliseconds and you can hit no to make modifications to the time making it 50 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, and for high speed total you can set it for 12.5 milliseconds. Standard is 25 milliseconds. Next, you can have the LCD display backlight on or off by hitting no to change the indication. Next, we have the flow direction in which you can install the meter whichever way you would like and change the parameter for flow direction if you prefer if your preferred installation is opposite of that to the flow label. Hit yes. Once you have set your flow direction, you can set up the EPD or empty pipe detection, which will pick up if the unit is empty or not flowing. Once you have entered a value, when there is no flow or the pipe is empty, you will see output inhibited on the local display. Last parameter is protocol. For most, the protocol is SPAR for sparling. This concludes set outputs through the Tiger Mag EP. Thank you very much.